hello students in this video we will discuss the methods for finding the hybridization it means if a molecule given then how we will predict the hybridization in the central metal item so we can apply the formula h is equal to 1 by 2 v plus m minus c plus a here v stand for the number of valence electron of central atom m stand for number of monovalent atom attached to it and a stand for negative charge if any that is in, in case of anion and c stand for the positive charge if any in, it means in case of the cation so you can calculate the value of h and after that you can find out the hybridization of central atom if you found out the value of and the value if the value of h comes out to be the 2 then the hybridization is sp and if the value is comes out to be 3 then the hybridization will be sp2 and if it is 4 then sp3 if it is 5 then sp3d and if it is 6 then sp3d2 and if it is 7 then hybridization will be sp3d3 now let us explain the example examples of ns3 how can we predict the hybridization so here is the central item is nitrogen we can apply this, this formula for calculating the value of h so 1 by 2 and v stand for the valence cell electron and in the valence cell of the nitrogen there are 5 electrons and hydrogen is the monovalent atom so there are 3 hydrogen atom so 5 plus 3 there is no cation there is no anion so the value of c and a will be 0 now the value well when we calculate the calculate this then it will be 4 and the 4 stand for the sp3 hybridization it means in ns3 the hybridization of central metal atom will be ns3 like ns3 the hybridization in ch4 molecule the value of h will be 1 by 2 and the valence electron configuration of the carbon is 4 and the 4 hydrogen atom that is the monovalent atom and there is no cation anion so the value will be 4 and that's why the hybridization will be in case of ch4 is cs sp3 so you can find out the calculate the hybridization of central metal atom by using this formula